everyone, my name's Katie. Can everyone say hi, Katie? <laughs> well, today we're talking about hope. And in the Bible, in 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 and 4, Peter writes this. I'm going to read from my Bible. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil or fade, kept in heaven for you. Well, in other words, we're told that because Jesus beat death, we, that's people who trust in Jesus, we have been given new life and a certain hope that lasts forever. This is so awesome and I want us to remember this. So I'm going to teach you a chant based on this passage with some actions to help us to remember it. Are you ready? Let's all stand up. 1 Peter 1 verses 3 and 4 tells us that because Jesus beat death, we have new life and a certain hope that lasts forever and ever and ever and ever. And God has something wonderful stored up for us in heaven that can never be taken away. All right, well done, guys. Have a seat. Ah, uh, so 1 Peter tells us that because Jesus beat death, we can know that God loves us and gives us new life. And we can know that God has something wonderful stored up for us in heaven that can never be taken away. And so we can have a certain hope that lasts forever. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, who's that? Is this... Who's talking? Who's that? Oh, it's my new, it's my little friend Sparky. Can everyone say hi, Sparky? Hi, Sparky. Hi, everyone. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm really, really hoping for a giant pizza the size of my house. Oh, okay. I've been hoping to get one for so long. Nothing is working. What do you mean? Well, last Christmas, I asked Santa for a giant pizza the size of my house. Oh? Oh, did you get one? <laughs> no, apparently Santa doesn't deliver giant pizzas the size of my house. Oh. Then last month, when I was sitting on my roof... Your roof? Yeah, I was sitting on my roof and I saw a shooting star. Cool! So I closed my eyes and made a wish. Let me guess, you wished for a giant pizza the size of your house. That's right. <laughs> I really hoped it would come true. And did it? No. Oh. Turns out it wasn't a shooting star at all. What was it? It was a tennis ball from the courts next door. Oh. And it hit me on the head. Ouch. And I fell off the roof. Oh, double ouch. It's okay, I landed on my trampoline. <laughs> All right. So then, I tried blowing out the candles on the birthday cake. Oh, it was your birthday. Happy birthday. It wasn't my birthday. Oh. I just needed to blow out the candles to make a wish. Oh, okay. So did it work? Did you get a giant pizza the size of your house? No. Oh. I blew so hard that the cake fell in the toilet. Oh, dear. So you see, I've been hoping and hoping and hoping but I still haven't got a giant pizza the size of my house. I'm really sorry to hear that. Me too. And kids, I'm sure you all know what it's like. They all want a giant pizza the size of my house? No, but I'm sure that everyone has hoped for something. I know I have. Maybe you've hoped for a new pet or a new bike or a new toy. Or some new pizza. Oh, sure. But when we've hoped for these things, we can nev we're never actually really sure if we will get what we hoped for. So tragic. But today we're thinking about certain hope. Certain hope? Like, you know for certain that it will happen? Yep. So cool. So will I get my giant pizza the size of a house after all? Whoa! <laughs> well, it's not a certain hope of getting giant pizza. Right. Well, what's, what's it 
a certain hope of then? Well, it's a certain hope of knowing that God loves us and gives us new life. It's a certain hope of knowing that God has something wonderful stored up for us in heaven. It's a certain hope that lasts forever. Okay, that does sound pretty cool. It sure does. But... But what? Well, how can you know all that for certain? Because Jesus beat death. Huh? Well, our chant, based on 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 and 4, tells us that because Jesus beat death, we, that's people who trust Jesus, we have been given new life and a certain hope that lasts forever. What chant? Well, why don't we repeat our chant for Sparky? Okay, we stand up. All right, so 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3 and 4 tells us that because Jesus beat death, we have new life and a certain hope that lasts forever and ever and ever and ever. And God has something wonderful, high five, stored up for us in heaven that can never be taken away. Well done, guys. That was fun. Although, it would be much easier if I had hands. Oh, I'm sorry about that. So, because Jesus, death, Jesus beat death, you have a certain hope that lasts forever? Yep. The Bible tells us that Jesus really did beat death. He really did come back to life never to die again. Knowing that means we can know for certain that God loves us and gives us new life. Uh, and we can know for certain that God has something wonderful stored up for us in heaven that can never be taken away. Because Jesus beat death, we have certain hope that lasts forever. Wow, having certain hope sure sounds amazing. It is amazing. But. It doesn't really help anyone right now. What? But yeah, well, it's nice to know God loves you and that one day you'll get this awesome stuff he's storing up for you in heaven. But what difference does that make right here, right now? I mean, come on, how's it going to help when you've eaten the last slice of the pizza? Well, that's actually a really good question. Now, kids, what does this mean for you and me right now that Jesus beat death? What does it mean for you to have this certain hope? Yeah, exactly. Well, to help me think about it, I'm going to tell you a story. Oh, goody. I love stories. I know you do. But all these actions have made my neck hurt. So I'm going to listen from downstairs. Okay. Bye, Sparky. All right. Well, this story I'm about to tell you is about a girl who realises that knowing that Jesus beat death gives her a certain hope, even when hard and sad things happen to her. Let's begin. Mum, I'm so nervous. I know you are, Sally. What if no one likes me here? Sally, you're a great friend. The kids here will see that. I really hope I make friends. I hope so too, Sally. Sally kissed her mum, took a deep breath and got out of the car. I really hope you have a great day, Sally. Let's have ice cream after school. And with that, Sally walked through the gate into her new school. As Sally's mum watched her daughter walk out the school gate, her heart sank. How did it go, darling? Silence. Sally didn't speak a word the whole way home from school. Slam! Her badge bedroom door was definitely shut. Thump, thump, shoes hitting the floor. Then the sobs. Sally's mum took a deep breath and climbed the stairs. Sally, darling, can I come in? Silence. Sally lay on her bed cuddling her favourite teddy bear. Tears dripped onto her doona. She watched the wet patch grow. She felt hopeless. Sally, I hope you know you can talk to me about anything. More silence then. Come in, Mum, Sally said softly. Sally's mum stepped over the shoes that lay on the floor and sat down on Sally's bed. 
Her heart ached at the sight of her little girl looking so sad, so hopeless. Taking her hand, she asked, Sally, what's wrong? So why are so many bad things happening to me? Sally whispered. I hoped it would be different here. Sally's mum sighed and kept listening. I know Daddy's not coming back and I know we had to move house after he left and I know that meant I had to move schools. That part was okay. I didn't really like my old school anyway. But I really hoped it would be different here. I hoped that people would like me, that maybe I would even have a best friend. I know, Sally. And they said I was stupid, Mummy. Who did? Paula, Kat and Steve. They said I was stupid because I couldn't read the book Mrs Carter asked me to read in the class. And then no one played with me at lunchtime. Sally's mum wrapped her arms around Sally. Sally, sometimes people say and do things that are very unkind and that can hurt a lot. I'll never make any friends. I'm sure you will make friends, Sally, but sometimes it just takes time. Sally traced the outline of a butterfly on her pillow. It feels hopeless, Mum. Gently letting go of Sally, her mum picked up the Bible that always stayed next to Sally's bed. Sally had decorated it with her favourite stickers. Sally, the Bible tells us that while we live in this world, bad and sad things will happen. But because Jesus beat death, there is hope. So even when sad or bad things happen, even when you feel hopeless, you can remember that. You can remember that God loves you and is storing up something wonderful for you in heaven. So Sally, there is always hope. Really, Mom? Yes, really. Do you remember the chant we learnt in church last week? From 1 Peter? That's right. I think I can remember. Can you say it with me, Mum? 1 Peter 1 verse 3 and 4 tells us, Because Jesus beat death, we have new life and a certain hope that lasts forever. And God has something wonderful stored up for us in heaven that can never be taken away. Sally smiled as the words came back to her. Did your kids' church leaders tell you why Peter wrote this letter? They did. He wrote it to the followers of Jesus who were suffering. They were being treated badly. Some were being threatened. Some were being made fun of because they followed Jesus. That's right. They probably felt really sad and really bad. They were hurt and probably angry as well. They might have felt just like you were feeling, Sally. Maybe they even felt hopeless. Maybe some even felt hopeless. But what did Peter remind them of? He reminded them that Jesus beat death, that he came back to life never to die again. Yes, and what does that mean for them? Well, it means that because they trust Jesus, they have been given new life. That's right. And it also means that God has something wonderful stored up in heaven for them. Yes, and can anyone, anything take that away? No, nothing, because God loves them and is looking after it. So this is a certain, a, it's a certain hope. Exactly. The Apostle Peter wants these followers of Jesus to know this certain hope even in the sad and hard times. That's awesome. Yes, Sally, it is. And my kids' church leaders said that this is also true for followers of Jesus now. They're right. So what does this mean for you, Sally? I guess it means that because Jesus beat death, he's still alive today. And So I can know that God loves me and that God is storing up something wonderful in heaven for me. Yes, Sally, that's exactly what it means. Because Jesus beat death, that means you and me and everyone else who trusts Jesus, we can know for certain that God loves us and gives us new life. And we can know for certain that God is storing up something wonderful for us in heaven 
that can never be taken away. So we have certain hope that lasts forever. Exactly, Sally. I know you're feeling sad about Daddy leaving. I know starting a new school is hard, and I really hope you make new friends soon. But keep remembering the certain hope we have, because Jesus beat death. Knowing that Jesus beat death, knowing that I will have new life, knowing that God loves me does make things easier. I can have certain hope that these bad and sad things won't last forever. That's right, Sally. So you are never hopeless. I like the sound of that, Mum. So do I, Sally. And with that, Sally jumped out of bed and said, Come on, Mum, you promised me ice cream. <laughs> yes, I did. I really hope it's cookies and cream. <laughs> Wow, what a great story. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, poor Sally was feeling so sad. She was very sad. Some hard stuff was going on in her life. But then her mum helped her remember that because Jesus beat death, we can know that God loves us and gives us new life. And we can know that God is storing up something wonderful for us in heaven that can never be taken away. So we have a certain hope that lasts forever. That's awesome. It is. But? But what? Well, does this certain hope mean people who trust Jesus should never feel sad? Huh? Because what if their pet dog ran away? What? Or their grandma died. Oh. Or what if they've just had a really bad day? It doesn't mean... Surely even people who trust Jesus would just... Surely, people, surely even people who trust Jesus will just feel sad sometimes. You're right, they will. How can you just say that they won't ever feel, oh, I'm right? Yes, of course you're right. Bad and sad stuff will keep happening, even to people who follow Jesus. And it's okay to feel sad about that. Ah. But even when we're feeling sad, we can know that because Jesus beat death, we still have a certain hope that lasts forever. And the Bible helps us to see that this certain hope can help us be glad, even when bad or sad things are happening to us now, because we know that they won't last forever. Wow, Jesus being death really does give great hope. It does, certain hope. So when life is good or when life is bad, or when life is happy, or when life is sad, we can remember that because Jesus beat death, we have been given new life and a certain hope that lasts forever. And God has something wonderful stored up for us in heaven that can never be taken away. And we can be so thankful for that. Awesome. Well, all this hope talk has made me even more hopeful. Oh, well, that's great. Yep, I'm hopeful that I'm going to get a giant pizza the size of my house. Oh, well, I'm not sure that I can make one that big, but how about I just make you some pizza later? You'd do that for me? Of course I would. Woohoo, you're the best. Oh, sure. Well, let's all say bye to Sparky. It was good to have you. Bye, Sparky. Bye. See you next time. <laughs> well, today we've been thinking about hope, certain hope. And we've seen from the Bible, especially from 1 Peter 1, verses 3 and 4, that because Jesus beat death, we can know that God loves us and gives us new life. We can know that God has something wonderful stored up for us in heaven that can never be taken away. And so, we have certain hope that lasts forever. Boys and girls, if you trust Jesus, that means that no matter what is going on in your life right now, whether things are good and happy, or even if they are sad and bad, you have a certain hope. So let's pray that we keep remembering this and keep trusting in Jesus, the one who has beaten death. Let's pray if you'd like to pray with me. Dear God, thank you that Jesus beat death. And now we can have new life and a certain hope that lasts forever. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. 
Well, it's been really great to spend some time with you on Easter Sunday or throughout Easter. I really hope that you have a great Easter, uh, whether you're at home um, with your family or whatever you're doing, uh, you're watching the church service today. It's been good to have you. Um, I hope you get some chocolate Easter eggs at Easter, but remember, don't eat too many because it will make your tummy feel very sick. I know, because it's happened to me before. Very sad. Um, but it's been good to spend some time with you this morning. See you later. Have a good weekend. Bye. See you next week.